this. He was a very much. He got a good one. Are you what? He was no good. He, there was nothing going for him. If he watches this, hmm. Yo, what's good, you two? It's James. It's Jordan. And Drew. And we are the Cozy Boys, and we are back with another Cozy Vibes podcast, episode six. And today we have two very special guests in the building to my left. As you can see, y'all go ahead and shout yourself out, bro. <laughs> um, I'm Val. My at is wherever it's going to be. Right you know, there. Right there. Right there. Yeah. Right there. Right there. And I'm Corey, and you will find my socials wherever. We're gonna put it right. We're gonna put it right there too. What you got today for us, bro? Do you think it's possible to have feelings for two people at the same time? This is a good question. Me? Yeah. I can't that's a real yeah. question. <laughs> Are you gonna start No, I don't want to start that bit off. Right. I you don't, don't think so. Out. You don't think so? Mm -mm. Why you say that? Because I can't really give my attention to two people at the same time like that. I think you can be like infatuated with one, uh, with one person, but like truly like another person. But I don't think you can like two people. At once. But that's feelings. Like, if you infatuate, you feel yeah, some type of way. Not necessarily. I'd be infatuated with people on... Mm, what, like online or something? Is that what you're saying? Not necessarily online, but like, there might be one guy that like, I actually really like, but another guy, I'm just like, yeah, he's fine. Like, I just like texting him. But there's no like, feelings attached, for me at least. You know? But you can't do it with two people at the same time. No. I, I've never liked two people at once. Not. I don't think so, at least. So like, okay. Like you said, you don't think you can put your energy with between two different people, right? Mm -mm. Why do you think that? Because I already hate texting. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I don't like texting. Um, so I'd rather be on the phone, and I can't be on the phone with, you know, two people at the same time. So, you know, I can only... But you can always tell a quick lie. You get off the phone, you know what I'm saying? My mama calling me real quick. But then it comes down to who do you want to talk to more. That's the go-to. Yeah. And then, it, and then it just, like, it's just, there's no in between. There's always one that's going to be, like, more... So that's just who I go towards. You yeah, know? but you can just talk to that person in the moment, and then whenever they just make you mad, you still might want yeah, to feel like being like on the phone. But that's you just having that's mean? just having options. I don't feel like that's liking to me, but that's just having options. Yeah. So it ain't no feeling there. What you saying? Do you think you got two uh, feelings with two people at the same time? Yeah, my voice cracked. You think you got two feelings <laughs> with two people at the same time? <laughs> yeah, like options wise, yeah, but two people at the same time, not really. Why you say that? I don't know. Like, actually, you can. But I, I just, ne me personally, I just never did. But I just feel like you can. You can manage and handle it. Mm -mm. Talk to one, text the other. And you I get mean, bored, switch it. That makes sense. I That's mean, because <laughs> people who are in, um, like, throuples, they love multiple people at one time. But oh, Josh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. polyamorous. Like, like, yeah, yeah, polyamorous relationships, though, that, like, they have their mind set on that. Like, those are their intentions, but normal people, not normal, that sounds wrong. <laughs> like, people are in their <laughs> relationships, they don't be like, you shouldn't, I feel like, at least be like, oh yeah, I like you. Like, you're dating them, but then I like somebody else too. Like, there's no point in being in a relationship. I mean, people that win marriages do that all the time. Yeah, that's the problem. How about an open relationship, like Curry and his wife? What do you feel about that? How do you feel that's about what that? they say. That's why they're on the share room. I'm like, I don't no. share. Bro. But like, he's already married. Right? He was already married to her, and now they can just explore and do whatever they want. But then, then still the come back. Still come back to each other. There's no point in being married because they have the feelings for each other. But they just okay, you can have sex with somebody and still be separated from them. Yeah, you don't necessarily sure. have to be with them. It's just it just comes down to the fact that they don't want to get like go through the divorce process, which I get. But like, what's the point of being married if you're just gonna go fuck another bitch the next day? Yeah, mm. I don't know. I mean. It's community you got, day, you got and I'm not here for it. You got feelings with two different people. You know what I'm saying? I shouldn't be an option. Yeah. If I'm dating somebody and they like share it, tell me I have feelings with somebody else, but I also like you. Uh, uh you're done. Like you're done. You just cut off right there because I can't do that. Like I don't share. If it's me and somebody else, choose that. Yeah, person. I'm not in competition with nobody. Simple. Sorry, hate to break it to you. Well, <laughs> I'm just I'm just, I'm just throwing out scenarios. What if you number one? There's no, 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 there should be no number two. If I'm number one, then leave it there. Bro, come on. If I'm number one, leave it there. If there's Simple. somebody else in the picture, choose that other person. Yeah. What if you don't know? Then that's just crazy. If I don't, I mean, then it just comes down to their guilt. Like, where yeah. they, like, where their <laughs> loyalty <laughs> lies with me. Like, that's just what it boils down to. You obviously don't respect me enough to respect our relationship and understand that if we're together, you don't need to be with nobody else or exactly. thinking of nobody else. 
Don't look another bitch's Wait, way, period. Thank you. I don't care. <laughs> I don't share in any aspect, way, shape, or form. No. You're done. Mm -mm. I don't want to. Uh, damn, I was going to ask something, but I don't want to go that far. Do ask it. You want me to ask it? Okay, have y'all ever talked to two different people at the same time? Mm -hmm. Like talk talk? Ooh. Like talk. Like you like you said, you can talk to one dude, think you like fine, just like texting him. Oh, yes. Yeah. Do it all the time. But that's, so you got That's not me liking them, though. There's a difference between me liking somebody and me just texting somebody. So, okay, say you say you talking to somebody, right? Like talking, talking? Like talking, and y'all mm -hmm. finna go into a relationship or like thinking about it type shit, right? Mm -hmm. Is it okay to talk, text other no, people too? No, no. I feel like if I'm talking to somebody, my like aspect on or my outlook on talking is if we're talking, that's you wanting to like pursue a relationship with me. We're just taking it step by step. I feel like there's no point in talking if you don't want a relationship. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> See, I've been holding this shit all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I saw your face off the house the way you go in. This is how I feel about it. So if if I'm talking to a girl and I know she bullshitting, like the first few days, I know she bullshitting, I'll be talking to other people. But it, if I feel like she's taking it serious and then if I'm interested too, then I'm gonna cut everybody off. And if she's talking to other people, like leaving likes, on the niggas Instagram Ooh. and shit. You care about that? Bro, that, sh that shit weird. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've about never... Putting comments? Putting comments, that's different. But, exactly. but liking somebody's picture, I never understood that. No, I don't I don't really? care if you... Mm -hmm. she, I don't care. So you don't, you don't I like mean, it's just social like media. No. Yeah, it's just Unless it's a bitch... Like, if her titties are out, whole different story. If anything's out and about, you know, that's a whole different story. But if it's just, like, a selfie or, like... What's the Her difference? Is, like, it's body empowerment. No, I agree. I'm all for body empowerment. empowerment. But at the end of the day, like, you're my man. Why are you looking at another bitch's ass? That's just me being It pops up on his timeline. See, I don't care. It's all over see, Even TikTok. See, I don't have no... Yeah, but... Mm -mm. See, I don't have no insecurity. So if she like it, like a, a man's picture, I'm not gonna care. But if she leave a comment, bro, then I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah, no. So comments. you think that's being insecure? What? I don't know. I mean, see... Y'all it probably is not, but like to me, I'm just saying to me, just out there. Like I'm. Okay. I think it. I think deep down it has to do with insecurity. <laughs> I think that's where it stems okay. from, but that's just me. Talk okay. about it, okay. okay. I mean, I'm not necessarily insecure about it. Like I know I'm pretty. You know, he's with me for a reason. You know what I'm saying? But I just, I don't know. I don't even know how to explain it. But, but see, if you would have told me that, then I wouldn't do it. <laughs> I'm laughing at that. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Some people don't do that. Some people don't, 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 do that. That. People don't understand the problem with it. You know what I'm saying? Some if you say something to a guy, they're not always gonna like be like, okay, yeah, I understand where you're coming from. Because some guys just genuinely don't understand where yeah. where our problem, like where we find the problem in it. I just don't see what the fuck. And for me, <laughs> it's sometimes <laughs> it's hard to communicate how what I'm thinking to make it make sense out loud. You know what I'm saying? So you can't communicate your thoughts? She yeah. know how to put them into words. Yeah. So that don't, that don't help nothing. What do you mean that don't help nothing? In a relationship. In a relationship. Yeah, I'm if I don't know, I'm not going to do it. That doesn't help But I'm either. telling you. But if you tell me that, I'm not going to do it. You're saying you don't. You communicate and you're wrong. That's what you yeah. just said. Like you, if you don't know how to put the words together. Like you be coming off wrong and he still yeah. does the same exact thing. Mm -hmm. Like you trying to prevent him from doing it. So you think that's... My part, I'm a bad communicator. Yes, only you can. <laughs> only you can communicate your thoughts. I mean, like, I'm sorry, I mean, sorry to break it to you, sweetie. You know what I'm saying? Like, give me an example how you do it. I don't like. Okay, let's just say you know who is like snapping another girl. How do you go about like addressing that? Like, what would you say? Who is this? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> my friend, get you so my far. Why? Why, why, why am I afraid? I know her for a long time. Okay, and so you okay, that's that. That, I, I can You could just be like, you could just be like, I just I don't feel comfortable. Like that's just what it could just. Come yeah, say that. Like, you, you literally just cut to the chase instead of asking who this. Like I, I just, just say in the first place, I don't feel. Yeah, I don't, I don't feel, feel comfortable, comfortable with you talking. Like, but then it goes on to why do you feel uncomfortable? Like she's just a friend. Like I don't see her in that way. And for me, I feel like, but I feel like that low key boils down to you trust how much you trust them, the guy. So you like you are okay with the dude? No, fuck no. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but I'm saying like 
I feel like that problem stems down it like deep down it stems from how much do you trust him like you obviously don't trust him fully because if you did there would be no reason why you should have to question it so you obviously don't trust him for real she preaching Hold on. but why Hold why on. do you feel the need to snap other females i you get what you're that. saying but i'm saying that's what it's going to come down to he's going to be like why don't I, you trust me talking to other females i thought, I thought like, it was like instagram pictures i don't th- i don't see a problem in like she said snapping I'm, that was just an example. Yeah. That's more like yeah. communicating, though. Instagram is that just a double tag? Keep going back. Yeah. yeah, but snapping is different. That's like that's DMing. worse though. That's demon. Yeah, it's worse. Yeah, demon. But snapping we said worse. liking a picture though. No, but I was that's just giving an nothing. example of how she would address uh, it. Yeah. So how do y'all handle? Say you found out you talking to another dude. Say if you mm-hmm. were dating, how do y'all handle getting cheated on? Oh, I could go into this for real. Talk about twin. Go ahead, twin. Um, break his phone. <laughs> break, break his phone. His phone. <laughs> Break his fucking phone. That's just what I'm gonna leave it at. Break his fucking phone. But my my cheating story is like, it's just like unbelievable. Like it doesn't even you wouldn't even think it's real life. Like that's just what it came down to. But I didn't handle it good because I was mad. But so you broke his phone? Yeah. Okay, so I thought you just bullshitting. No, mind. I really broke his fucking phone. I wasn't playing. But his password was also one, two, three, four. So, you know, if you're going to cheat, I mean, if you're going to cheat, like, <laughs> at least make that bit hard. Like, not your birthday, not one, two, three, four, not zero, 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 zero. Like, you know, you could just add a little spice and I wouldn't find out, but I found out. So, you know. So he didn't care about cheating. You do this. No, he didn't give a fuck. But I don't think he thought I was going to go through his phone. Like, he, just, the scenario was just like. I snuck him into my house. Mm. I really hope my parents just never find this video. I snuck him into my house. They gonna watch. I'm gonna tell him. I'm gonna tell him. You should make sure that's And um, he, this is another story. This is what you were talking about earlier today. He did. He doesn't have service. He was a very much. He, got a <laughs> <big guy. laughs> he was no good. He, there was nothing going for him. If he watches this, mm, big fuck you. Um, but oh, no. I'm zooming in. Bro. Yeah, zoom in. Um, <laughs> no, but he didn't have service on his phone, so his phone doesn't work without Wi-Fi, right? So um, one night I snuck him in. He was connected to my Wi-Fi. Um, and so and he cheated on you with your Wi-Fi. No, 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 no. He cheated on me. Yeah, he's on Wi-Fi. Okay. But <laughs> he's not even my dude. But what? Dude, fuck no. Um, anyway, so he um, he came over. Whatever. He left. He called his friend from my phone. He left. So then he calls me off his friend's phone. And he's like. Oh, I left my phone. Like, I'm finna come back. I was like, okay, bet. And I already had a feeling he was cheating on me, but like, I wasn't. I'm not the type of bitch to be like, let me see your phone if I don't have feel like I have a reason. Mm-hmm. But so, whatever. I find his phone and I'm just like guessing. I'm like, you know, it's, it's not gonna be one, two, three, four. Like, it's not gonna be one, two, three, four. But mm, it was. It one, two, indeed three, <laughs> was one, two, three, four. So I put that bit in. Yes, and indeed. he thought because he didn't save the numbers, like their messages on iMessage, that I wasn't gonna look at it. So I looked at it. And it was like seven different girls pull up, come see me, bring some friends. You find as fuck. Damn. I was like going in like with seven different bitches. So I was like, okay, cool. So then he came to the door. I dropped the phone. It cracked because you never case on it because the, the, the bitch's not going to work anyway. So it cracked. <laughs> it broke. <laughs> and then I got back together with him. Oh. So that was that. So what was going on Oh, my mama, you break my phone. I'm love. not getting back. To I you. thought I was in love. Did you pay for it? Fuck no. Okay. I gave him. Oh. You gave him what? I gave him another phone. Oh. oh I gave him another phone. Yeah. My phone broke. I gave him. Another phone. <laughs> that I need a thirteen. Yeah. I gave what? him another phone. So you wasn't cheating at all. He did it. I swear to God, I wasn't cheating. Yeah, damn. I, I would never up. cheat. My my conscience. I couldn't live with myself. Like my conscience would build up too much. Like I could not. Yeah, cheat. I can't do that. That shit is fucked up. And that's what they all say. <laughs> Man. Mm. We all not the same. Like, Sorry. I would never see. cheat. Never cheated. Yeah. Julius is not cheating for real. I'm a loyal man. The fact that Julius is not cheating. Julius is really not cheating. I'm not cheating this shit. James, you are? I've never been in a relationship. Oh. But how, I mean, I got a question though. How would you know you love your girl if you don't cheat on her? Oh, fuck <laughs> no. <laughs> you, okay. Like, you, me, you me, you me, 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 here here's my aspect on my, <laughs> on a relationship if i'm with somebody and you're cheating on me you're intentionally doing something that's gonna you know it's gonna jeopardize your relationship with me 
so and, and you know it's gonna affect us so why are you doing that you don't love me for real like that's just what it comes down to you do, you do not love me for real at all like that's just what it comes down to you shouldn't have to test anything like if i'm the one i'm the one simple leave it at that but that's how you test it that's what they say fuck no fuck no who <laughs> says that yeah nobody you know says that after, after you cheat on the excuse if you feel bad then she's the one excuse me <laughs> uh, i don't know what he's saying but uh, <laughs> who i cheated on with Oh, they said, mm 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 mm. They said it's all. They said slut. I ain't no slut. You call it. She's a lie. They said that's all. Oh, so we all. She said Julius. I did not say Julius. I swear to God, I didn't say Julius. Oh, who is that? I didn't say nobody. She said all. I said zoom in on me because I was talking to you. Exactly. Yeah, but we got another question for y'all. How do y'all handle when somebody's being dry with y'all and giving like one word replies? Stop replying. Yeah, stop replying. Leave them on red or leave them on delivery. I already don't like texting. So if you dry text me, I'm not going to respond. I'd be half swiping on, well, I'd be half swiping on Snapchat, like to see what they're talking about. And then if they're talking about something, I'm going to reply. If they're not, we're just going to leave it on delivery. Why not just open it? You already read it. I mean, shit, I will if I don't care. But I mean, if I do care, kind of, like, I don't want them to know I read it. Wait, you're going to leave me on the liver for three days and then I it's, swear it's to God. better. I swear to God. And I'm going to text them, like, three days. And when the conversation's, like, done and over, I'll be like, hey, what are you I doing? I feel like that's more disrespectful. <laughs> you know? to get it probably is. But I, don't know. I mean, I'm single. Yeah, I don't open. have to claim nobody. So. I'm just saying, Joe, I'd rather like, left home. Open. I mean, he doesn't know that, though. You're right. So. Because I've been left on, like, five days and then it's fine. But I didn't give a fuck, so I just opened it. I know who he's talking about. <laughs> oh, wait, no, that was RJ. About. That was RJ. Who? 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 who, who, who? <laughs> that was me? No. <laughs> something else. Wait, so what if a girl... But is she saying that? No, 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 no. Oh. That's why I said that. I didn't get scared. I didn't get scared. I got scared for her. I was going to cut that bit out of red because she already lied on me earlier. So I was like, bro, is she really lying on me again twice? But okay, bro, it's false alarm. Wait, how do y'all handle, like, if it's going good with a girl, y'all are texting and then she just gets dry out of nowhere? Ooh, what are Ooh, y'all doing? I, I feel like she found another nigga, but shit. Man, it just is what that's it is. It is what it is. Really? That's it? Yeah. Just yeah. Like, especially what if it's like, a bit you cool. really like, you really, really yeah. like, like you really fuck with? You can't, you can't, you can't, you can't, can't about force it. the vibe. Can't can't it. It. Okay, what if you're in a relationship with her and she just gets dry? It is what, what it is. is. <laughs> like, 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 you, can try, you can try talking it out, but okay, like, if y'all just friends type shit, then it just whatever. Or if you have feelings for just, yeah. So what if? What if that's just because you know how girls don't be really communicate? Well, not a lot of girls don't know how to communicate for real, so mm-hmm. they're they're like their intentions of like waiting to text you back or like being dry with you is them basically like reaching out and telling you like you're not doing enough, like apply more pressure. You know? But how would we know? Well, I understand, no, I, I agree with you, but I'm saying like there's some females, like how do you handle that? Because there's some females that are like that. I mean. If I text you and say what's wrong, and you don't answer, <laughs> so, that's just a dub. It's just, it's just over with. So, Wait, that was one of Jordan's pet peeves. What? Mm-hmm. When you ask, like, what the problem is, and they don't even. Oh, yeah. Them. Like, if I ask you if there's a problem and you want to tell me, now, like, damn, I'm just leaving alone because, like, you're not telling me. After the so, first time? If I ask you what's wrong and it's bothering you, why are you not telling me? I agree with that, though. That's like, right. just be straight up, you know? We're old enough for you to communicate your feelings. You're lying. And it, I'm, I'm <laughs> not. I'm not. A, no, but that's different because you're my friend. Like, if you piss me off, I'm not, like, until I'm, like, over the situation because I don't want to say anything while I'm mad and jeopardize the friendship. So mm-hmm. I'd be waiting and I'm like, nothing. And then when I'm actually not mad anymore, I'm going to be like, okay, this was what. Yeah, okay. but that's what she's doing. Okay, let me ask you a question. Okay. You ask me what's wrong. You know I'm dry today. You ask me what's wrong. Mm-hmm. And I say nothing. You will keep trying. Oh no. I would. Yeah. But that's I how would. I am in a relationship. Because I'm the person to care. Like yeah. I wanna help. You know what I'm saying? If you're going yeah. through something, I would wanna help you, you know what I'm saying? I'm not just gonna be like, okay, fuck it. But what about they just keep on dry texting? Then obviously something's bothering them. Yeah. So that's when you And I'll give you a minute, I'll be like, Okay, you know, obviously okay. you it keeps going on for two weeks. Okay, that's damn. Who are you texting? <laughs> I'm just saying. No, I'm just, I'm just, <laughs> if it's two weeks, like that's not bad. If it's two weeks, then she was a couple of days. Yeah. Okay. Like, oh. How long can you last? Oh. <laughs> you really like, like being the dry texter? No, it was going all good, and then it just started going. Then dry. just out of nowhere. Yeah, and, but dry. you ain't you. You go through his phone. He not cheating or nothing. 
And just, he's not it's, telling me nothing? Yes. Like, the reason why? Yes, you ask him the first time, he say nothing. And then you ask him again, he say I'm nothing. I'm give him a day. Mm-hmm. Maybe not even a day. Maybe a couple hours, maybe. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then, if nothing's changed, I'm going to be like, okay, obviously, like, there's something I don't know what's going on, but obviously you don't want this like I want this. You know what I'm saying? So that's just it. I feel like after I asked you the first time, and the next day it happens again, and then you don't tell me the next day, I just feel like like what the fuck? Like, you're not telling me shit. So. But what if it's like something like real serious? You know if it's real serious, yeah. just tell me. What if like they? Don't want to talk about it at the time. Like, I mean, like you, got, you, can issue. you can understand that if it's something real serious and yeah, like a family good. matter. But if it's just because like, you don't want to talk about it, her dad room, beating her out. Like that's just an example. Okay, oh. that's just an example. But I'm saying like like some serious shit like that. Like her dad's beating yeah. her. Like how, she, maybe she doesn't know. Like she doesn't want people to know about that because she doesn't want people looking at her dad differently. Just give him time. Yeah. That's what okay, I'm not talking about that. I was, but like that's what it could be. You know what I'm saying? Like that could be why she's being dry. <laughs> It could be something that deep, but she don't think about it. I didn't even see it that way. I'm just saying, like, if I figure out that it wasn't nothing serious, then I'm like, okay. Do you boundary test? Mm, I'm not even gonna lie, yeah, I do. I do sometimes. I do. I do. How do you do it? Yeah, I do too. I just do shit that I know people them off. Yeah. See if they still care. That's the same I hate that shit. Wait, just what so about you? But it depends on it depends on what their boundary is. Like I'm not gonna push that bit to the extreme yeah. and be yeah. like just a light little. Yeah. But like you start know? arguments for no reason. No, not an, argument, not, an not an argument. Not an argument. Not an argument. Yeah, that's an argument. No, like not. I'm not trying to start one, and I'm not not like one's not gonna start, but I'm gonna test you a little bit. See Sometimes where it goes. they do start. I'm, I'm saying like no, what? they do sometimes. And yeah. how are you gonna do that? I don't know. Whatever. It's it just it depends on the specific person. That's what I'm saying. What about if you don't know? Oh, I'm gonna figure it out. And what about when you do it? He don't show no reaction. He just keep it. I'm gonna just keep doing little shit. I'm gonna figure it out. I'm gonna see, off. see, cause I feel like they be doing this shit. Cause when she asked me something and I answered it, she said, "Okay, calm down." I'm not even mad. I'm just, <laughs> <laughs> that shit pisses me off the most. I'm like, hey, I'm not even screaming. That's one of them. I hate that shit. It just depends on the thing to calm down. down. You know, we, my part, when you, when you talking to Julius, he said, told you to come down. He said, I'm not even mad. Yeah. That shit Gotta pissed me off. That. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Do not tell me to calm down Cause when I'm already calm. Because calm yes. then I'm not going to be calm. Speaking He's the, the same way. That's what I'm saying. Like, that shit pissed me off. Are you saying Jesus the same way? No, I'm talking about oh, James. James. Oh. Yeah. Because that nigga, he be talking to RJ. RJ, I'm calm. I'm not mad. <laughs> RJ be like, Nigga, you're mad. You're just screaming. And yeah, then he's like, like get the screen away. <laughs> Don't tell me I'm mad when I'm not mad. Because then you're going to make me mad. And this is not going to be good. I'm trying to curb that behavior, though. Because it's not good. In my eyes, I don't, I don't think it's good. You can't really just let you make you mad like that. In my opinion. It still happens, though. It doesn't leave. They try me every day. No cap. <laughs> I be holding that bitch in. No cap. Nah, but I got... <laughs> what? I be holding it in. You angry? Yeah, you gonna spaz one day. Yeah, gonna, unless, I, can unless, I can see you spaz one day. Unless somebody lie. lie. That's why I was spaz when uh when I told y'all nigga leave, y'all didn't leave, and I was being dead ass serious. And I started spazzing. Y'all thought I was mad. I oh, wasn't you, mad. Oh, okay. I just got louder. I, mean, I wasn't even mad during the summer. Yes, I wasn't even mad. Were you spazzing or no? No. <laughs> I yeah, because he shit. came back and you laughing hard as shit. I so. faked that shit. Yeah, I said. I said, get the fuck out. And I was even <laughs> mad. She was mad. I was like, damn, I got to get her to come back. Shit. So that I actually came. And she came back. <laughs> I was even mad at y'all. Y'all that came was, back and I was laughing. That was a funny night. Right. That was hilarious. Uh, yeah. I, got, I got another question for y'all. Since we were talking about uh, cheating stuff earlier, do y'all do stuff to make people jealous out of spite? Yes. Like what? What do you do? Like when I get in an argument, if I have a boyfriend or like I'm like I'm just talking to somebody and we get into an argument, I'm gonna post my stuff all on my snap, all on my fucking snap. Like I'm going crazy because I know I'm gonna get hella slide up. So, and I know he he knows that you know, like he knows he's messing with the bad bitch. Like you know what's coming to the table. So like I know it's gonna piss him off. Right. Right. Do mm-hmm. I don't know why the fuck you laughing? Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> 
No, bro. What about Corey? What you do? Do you do it at all? I don't. I don't think so. I think you just get sad. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a very emotional person. I just get sad a lot. Mm-mm. I don't be giving a fuck. I will post myself, but it's not out of spite. It's just to make myself feel better about the situation. You know, if that makes sense. But you don't do nothing to make him like jealous at all. So, but whenever like whenever I stop talking to a guy and like he did me dirty and that's why we stopped talking or like he goes to me or some shit, I like to keep him on my social media. But I mute all of his social media. Oh yeah, I do that. Yeah, we end things. Yeah, I don't follow him on Instagram, but I keep him on Snap. Just mute his story. Mute or if I do follow him on Instagram, I mute his Instagram story. So he knows I'm not viewing his shit. So like he doesn't get that benefit without like that satisfaction. Uh, that's easy. You just if we end things, yeah. <laughs> 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 but yeah, but whenever like they, yeah. they, it's just one take. You would be right back in the game. <laughs> uh uh-uh. uh. Right. No. Uh-huh. Come on now. No. No. Did There's she not only... say the nigga cheating? And she let the nigga back. Yeah, but that was because I was I was just like in I thought I was in love, so like I was so it's such, different. But that's one person. That's only I mean, there's some dudes that I have done it with too. But like, uh, but uh, I'm saying, but that's not the case now. Like, I wouldn't do that now. <laughs> you because you have not <laughs> met the right nigga yet. So <laughs> that's that's all the difference. Is. You have not met the right nigga yet. I mean, we're young. I don't feel like anybody's met the right person yet. But you say it happened eight times. So why do y'all keep trying to get in relationships? Don't say y'all. They're stupid. We all were. We all were. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> I just feel Thanks. like I just feel like everyone, oh, like a lot of females, just be like wanting relationships nowadays. I mean, like, I like no. Know, everybody knows at the end of the day, as young as we are, everybody just want to have fun. Don't nobody really want to be tied down, tied down for real. There's like it may be fun people. to be like be like relationship like it's cuffing season you yeah. know what I'm saying you want somebody to cover this is the idea yeah, yeah but, but like, being in a relationship doesn't necessarily stop you from having fun you know what I'm saying like I'm in college right. and yes I do have a man but we still you know have our separate lives he goes to parties without me you know with his friends I go to parties you know what I'm saying like we still have fun. Yeah, I just feel like as young as we are, like relationship stuff, like it just adds stress, like stuff that you don't want to deal with, like like argument, like you just said, like if if you don't do stuff to make him jealous, you just get sad, mm-hmm. like that's somebody else making me sad, and I'm young, like I don't want to deal with that, even though I want to be relationship, and like you say, you still have fun, but why come with that too when I can just have fun by myself? I mean, yeah, but it's part of being young, you know. Try new things. Yeah, experience a relationship. I don't want to be older and not have experienced nothing at all. You know what I'm saying? I just feel like if I had the chance, because <laughs> 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 my eyes started with. It's at one point we gonna move out. You know Trent. He moved in with his girlfriend. Yeah, You're so cute. That's, That's what I'm so saying. Cute. So I'm Shout at a point where we could, we could do that. So why not? Next up. But like, who's like 16, 15? Hell no. Yeah, I feel like this age, you know, it's good. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We're 19, 20, 21. You know what I'm saying? But, but 19, you, you know 18, what I'm saying? Sir. People back in, you know what I'm saying? Older <laughs> people, they be like, I wish I had my 20s and do like most stuff. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, being a late. I feel. Me personally, I just feel like sometimes relationships just hold people back at a young age. Eventually, when you get older, you want somebody to, you know what I'm saying, build your empire with, have kids, settle down. But like when you're 20, you know what I'm saying, 20s, the whole thing, I wouldn't want to be like tied But down. it sounds like your definition of fun is being with different people if you don't necessarily want to be tied down. No, it's just the fact that I know relationships bring stuff like added stress, you know what I'm saying? But if you're with the right person, it, it shouldn't. Yeah. Like, if you're with the right person, they shouldn't have a problem with you going to a party. You know, mm-hmm. you you going to hang out with so-and-so or like a group of people, not individuals, like not hanging out with individuals specifically, but like... See, this is what I see. If I wouldn't care, cause like I'm not gonna stop you, but if you hanging out with a nigga, that's a whole different thing. But you hanging out with a group of girls and you go to a party, then I don't give a fuck. I expect But to what you, if dudes are there? I expect for you to handle that shit. Okay, exactly. So I'm not gonna care. But like, you said handle that? Yes, like handle that shit. Like, like, like no, I gotta I gotta mm-hmm. talk to the yeah. nigga. I got a nigga or some shit. Okay, I just didn't hear what you said. But like, if you, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you y'all fucking go, bro. But if you said like something. <laughs> 
<laughs> when you say something like, um, oh no, I'm talking to somebody, and you give me a snack and shit. I'm like, damn. This then you shouldn't be with them. They just don't respect boundaries. Oh, shit, my bad. They don't respect your boundaries in the relationship. Wait, so you think. Okay. Uh, how do I put this? <laughs> so, it's a good podcast. Okay, we're in college, right? In college, you meet new friends and stuff like that. Say you go into college with your high school boyfriend. Yeah. And you're going around, people come up to you. You feel like you shouldn't give your snap out or anything? Like you shouldn't meet new people? No. <laughs> At all. I feel like a, re a relationship is only holding you back from having your hoes. But I also feel like it's different, though, in college because, <laughs> be, especially in high school, in high school and college, because if you're, like, you, you're you just trying to make friends, right? Mm -hmm. But you know what most guys' intentions yeah. are. Like, you know they see a fine bit. They're going to want to, like, you know, fuck. Like, that's mm -hmm. just what it comes down to. So I think that's what it comes down to in your boyfriend's head. So what if, like, she just gives him, like, her Instagram or Snapchat, but, like, doesn't communicate with them or anything? Mm -hmm. Like, it's just there. You know, just, you just another follow. follow from yeah. Yeah. a random person that's not... Yeah, like, so what's the point? But you thought he was cute, right? Not necessarily. Oh, well, then. Maybe yeah. at least both of them together. But if you think that nigga's cute, then that's a whole different thing. But then it just comes down to would you let your boyfriend do that? Like, if, a, like let's just say. No, I'm, yeah, no, because I wouldn't. I, yeah, that's know, not, I, I, mean, I yeah. don't like that. So, you, I see, I hate that hypocritical shit. I'm, I, I mean. I was just making a statement. You I was, know? No, I'm just saying. I was, making conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you look at us, bro? <laughs> 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 She's not saying she does. She yeah, would. Yeah, I was just asking. Yeah. She's screaming at me though. <laughs> How is nobody screaming? Oh no, she's 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 screaming. <laughs> I shouldn't get mad, bro. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> she, she's already mad. She's already mad. <laughs> she's already mad. I'm not mad. Okay. 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 Okay.
How, what's what's the perfect way for somebody to hop in your DMs? Him right there. Him watching. He want to get in your DMs. How can he hey, do you do it? Hey, you got a chance, my boy. <laughs> It might be him. Not with me. Take, with take notes if you're watching, all right? Um, How close is what you saying? I don't even know. I really... I don't know. I don't like corny shit. So if you slide in my DMs with the high LOL or the you fine as fuck, like, I'm tired of men calling me fine. Like, call me beautiful, pretty. They come like that. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, and I'm tired of the dry <laughs> conversation. Like, spice it up. Ask me if I like mayo. I don't fucking know. Like, ask some weird ask shit. Ask you like what? Mayo. I, I like, ask me some mayo. Like, ask would me you, some would you, you wouldn't expect like, nobody to ask that. That's what I'm saying. Would you go on a goddamn? You're fine? Hit me with a pickup no, line. People, honestly. look. You know, pickup line be corny as hell nowadays. <laughs> but it starts conversation, I'd be like. Right, it be, it be no. funny. And then be like, oh, okay, that was so funny. But then it's a bitch lame and shit. Okay, okay. <laughs> what if it's not funny? You just gonna be like, LOL, ha ha. Like, yeah. like, have a good day, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's it gotta a hit be a good one. You know what I'm saying? But if, if it's a corny joke, well, you don't know which one's gonna be hit or miss because it's all funny. Yeah, pickup line is the same. But I think corny jokes are still better than just like, you're fine as fuck. Yeah. So you're what's, so what's, fine. What's one that's worked on you? Mm. One that he can use. Um, <laughs> what's one that has worked on me? I don't know. I mean, one time a dude was like, he slid in my DMs and he was like, how much does a polar bear weigh? Like, that's what he started the conversation off with. What? Yeah, you he was like, cast attention. he was like, how much does a polar bear weigh? And so obviously, I'm like, before I click on any DMs, like, if you're on my message request, I'm going to look at your account first. Before I view the message, and I'm gonna see if you're fine. If you're fine, I'm gonna respond. If you're not, gotta go. So he said, How much is the polar bear? He looked good. So I was like, Okay, my answer. I was like, I don't know. And then he said enough to break the ice. And that bit was not funny, but it did break the ice. And we started <laughs> talking, and we still talk, like not talk, talk, but like we still communicate to this day. Like it's just like normal conversations, like every day, like, What are you doing? How's your day? You know? Corny can start a conversation. It's better than just generic shit like yeah. what everybody else is gonna say. Oh, like you're sexy. <laughs> <laughs> you're beautiful. That that like y'all think that's just corny? Because then what am I supposed to say? Thanks and then yeah, but what you say? Leave it at that. You'd be like, oh, thanks and then that's it. But that's what I'm saying. There's there's nothing to go off of because then yeah. you say thanks and then they're just like, yeah, where are you from? Like the dry conversations, it's it's uh, I'm over it. Like. Move on to something better. So, how would you want it to start? Like, as soon as it, like, you how said how I think. Away? No, like, after how that. How much the away? Okay, after that. <laughs> um, I don't, I, I forgot how, like. You said, hello, oh, thanks. What do you want the dude to say exactly? Like, hey, how was your day? You're like, oh, God, it was good. Then it gets dropped for that? Or, like, how does that? I mean, you have to go through drive conversation. I'm just saying, like, I'm tired of it. But, like, I don't know, like, where are you from? Where do you stay? Mm, what are your like, aspirations in life? What do you want to be? I don't like them to hit me with that. Yeah, I'll right off the bat. Not necessarily off the bat, but like into the like when you're already into the convo. Not like DMing me. What do you want to be in life? <laughs> <laughs> what is your main life right now? Like after you said that, that was funny. Yeah, I think this is funny. <laughs> <laughs> no, anyways, after he was like, "Oh, it was enough to break the ice." What? What was I? That? I said something like. That was a good one, or like some shit, like, like okay, like that's I don't know. I said something. Okay, but then what did he say? I think he said like, "Where are you from?" Or like, "What are you mixed with?" A lot of dudes like will ask me like, "What are you mixed with?" And that starts off like yeah, a I get that question a lot too. But I'm not mixed with anything. You know what I'm saying? Or a bitch is for the win. You know? Okay, y'all think men cheat more or women? Both. Women. Nope. Women do cheat more. Y'all are just saying that they out, out of catch. experience. They flirt they a lot. And they're very catch. friendly. That's not, that's yeah. true for males. Oh, God, that's true males for males. are very friendly. Uh-uh. Y'all be low-key flirting with bitches. Y'all be very flirting with bitches. So, if you're in a relationship and a fine dude came in your DMs, what are you going to say? I are have you, a are man. You, are you going to reject yeah. him? Or not respond. Or not respond. Not respond, yeah. not respond period. Oh, 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 yeah, I don't give a fuck. Oh, no, Malcolm Jr. can come in my DMs. If I wear my, oh, you're done. Now, you know you lie. I swear to God, I'm not. You know you lie. So, you that low. Oh, no, Malcolm. It down. It. I was putting money on my man's books when we weren't even together. So, like, don't ever question my loyalty. Period. I'm a down bitch. <laughs> hey. I'm hey, a down bitch. Problem. Problem. I don't cheat. Yeah, yeah. You. Like, I'm just saying, like, so many dudes could come in my DMs and no, like, I'm only interested in one person. If I'm in a relationship with you, there's only you. Simple. Still for, like, girls. Yes. That's because you're saying that out of experience. Like, I could say that about men, but I said both cheat equally. It's a whole, like... Category like you can't describe a whole category. <laughs> Sorry, you can go. I just feel like the I'm cheating not, topic is really just going. I just feel like it never happened for me. So I'm gonna say a girl. 
Because I've never been cheated on, but it could have happened. Sexist. But I never. I'm not sexist, but <laughs> you know, I actually take up for women. <laughs> like, okay, then. No, I agree. So if a male is sliding up on your or in your female's DMs, would you want her to not respond? Or like if she hit him with like a just thanks? Is that okay? No, don't even say thanks. Don't respond. Why are you saying thanks? I agree. It's you already say you, you already say you're not gonna like him, so just let him go to the curb. If if you respond, I would be like, either use whatever it is, take a picture of me, and then send it. Yeah, like do <laughs> like, 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 yeah, stuff like that. That would be funny. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Or if she had, if he asked for number, give him my number. But like. But like, say if we together and you be like, dude, babe, this dude just, just DM me. I'm be like, all right, let me get your phone. And then we'll just take a picture together and we just like that. Or I add like on you, like touch it. But like, if you respond, say thanks or just say, oh, I have a man. Don't even say that. Just don't even respond unless I'm in it to touch it. Okay. I understand that. But, okay. Uh, you don't want to look like a bitch for not responding? Damn. Yeah. Because, no. <laughs> no. I because know. I meant like, guys are going to call her a bitch if like, it she It happens respond. to me and like. People from our town, like, I just don't respond, and then they call me, oh, I went Hollywood, oh, you don't F with us no more, oh, da 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 da, da. Like, I don't oh, want to seem like I've gone Hollywood, because okay. I haven't, you okay. know what I'm saying? I'm not. So I just say thanks, and leave. if they say you're welcome, I don't even open it, you know, I just leave it at thanks. If you're not that type, then don't respond. Don't even say nothing. Like, if you know deep down you're not, like, what's the point? Yeah. Don't even respond. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then post yourself with your boyfriend on your snap so he can get the message. Okay. I got I got a question for y'all. Obviously y'all get a lot of DMs, right? Yeah, y'all post y'all stuff. What is the craziest DM that y'all have ever got? Cause I'm interested. I know y'all y'all be y'all sometimes y'all post I know Val, you post the wild shit on yours, bro. Oh I'm talking about DMs, like weird people oh. and stuff like that. I mean I not it's not really or well, it is crazy because like you wouldn't think it would happen like that, but like one time, a dude called me fine. Some dude off TikTok. He called me fine. And then, like, right after that, he asked me for my cash app. And he deadass sent me, like, $400. What the he wanted me to buy this one specific pair of shoes. No, yeah. it wasn't 400 But it was over 100 I know that for sure. But he wanted me to buy these specific pair of shoes. And so I was like, okay, I'll buy them. But I just took that bit and spent it on myself. And didn't buy the fucking shoes. Because those shoes were ugly as fuck. But that's probably the most crazy thing that's happened. For real? Yeah. I mean, or a dick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I forgot about that. Okay. People just, yeah. Hella dudes just be sending me their... For no reason. Little peepees. I don't think we get... Do you get any crazy text messages? No, bro. Yeah, I do. I, I get a bold text message. I don't even get done, bro. I, 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 get, a, I get a... Next, I get a bold text message sometimes. Or like no. somebody give me their number, but not no crazy shit. What if, how would y'all want a girl to slide in y'all's DMs? That's a good question. I don't be knowing what to say. Yeah. I be wanting to slide it. Because when I did it, it was the most cringiest ever. And I, no, I don't want to See, for it. me, it's not, it never happened to me. So I don't think about that. I think about what I'm going to say. <laughs> so, it, so I don't even know how it feels like. I like it when, like, girls just apply pressure off the bat. Like, ooh. Like, like, like what can yeah, she like, say? Like, like, I want to suck your dick right now. Like, what? No. no. Like, no. <laughs> That's weird like, as fuck. Like, what is there to say? Like, random, like, on God, just find this fucking, oh, shit, like, appreciate it. And then, like, I said, like, I want you. Like, oh, damn. Like, but how do you want somebody you don't know? No, I'm just saying, like, that's what get my attention. Like, whoa, like, that. Y'all get those messages all the time, but like when it comes to us, it's like a little bit different. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. if you yeah, get like hard eyes, it's just whatever. Like, oh yeah, appreciate it. Oh, so you like you good. said, like you know you can post something and get hella slide up, like you said earlier. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's not. It's not. It's not. But we know we can, it. but it's not easy at all. Girls just don't be as bold as guys are. Well, some of us are. Why is that? Why don't I just shoot y'all text? Because we don't be knowing what to say. They don't want to get rejected. But no. No. Do they get rejected 24-7? It really just comes down to the, like, for me at least, why I don't be sliding up on dudes' posts or, like, sliding in DMs all the time is because I'm, like, my mindset is still stuck on if someone finds me attractive, then they should pursue me. Like, a man should always pursue a woman, not the other way around. True. But, but, mm. but I do cave in with that sometimes. And I do be like, I do be sliding in people's DMs. So you feel okay. like a man should always approach you and you never Not necessarily, no. But but in my head, like, that's why I don't be sliding up on people's posts. Because that's what you think. Yeah. 
And I also, I'm scared of rejection. I don't want to look stupid. What then, I just said. Like, I don't, no, because I, I, I have had, like, um, I'll set up and be like, hard eyes or like, not hard eyes, that's cringy. I'll be like, you're fine or like, fine as fuck or like, you know, some shit. And then he'll be like, thanks, so. LOL. I'm like, ooh. That works. He just didn't want you. No, I know, but that's what I'm saying. Like, rejection. Like, I don't want that to happen. Do y'all get mad whenever, um, because I know I'll be getting mad. Do y'all get mad? Good questions. I like these. Whenever, um, like, you post something of yourself, like, you post, like, I know guys don't really be posting pictures of themselves, but, like, if you do, you post a picture of yourself, and, like, the person you're talking to or, like, the person you're interested in, they don't slide up. They just view it. But God. everybody fucking else does. That's like, does so that sad. not make your blood boil? Like, does it make that you That doesn't happen, does like okay, <laughs> because I'm like, really posting it for you. You know what I'm saying? And I'm I'm wanting you to say something. Like I'm I'm wanting you to compliment. I feel like in relationships too, God just forgets simple things like calling you pretty every now and then, like yeah. reminding you that like why he got with you. You know that's you know it's so rare. For us. Why do y'all stop doing that? Why do y'all stop doing mm-hmm. the little don't, things? I don't. I'd rather just it's, like everybody's not the same. Yeah. Conversation is hidden for you right now. <laughs> nah, I like, I like the conversation. Talk about it to me. Everybody's not the same. So if I like you, I'm gonna keep doing it. But like, if I don't like, I'm not gonna do it. But like, if you're dating them, like, why do you like? Because a lot of guys once once they get the bag, they're done. Like they don't apply pressure for real anymore. Yeah. Like after the first few months, like why? Because we already got the kill. But that's not the point. Keep no, you no, gotta lose it. No, no, no. no what about he pulled you right? <laughs> yeah. But when you post something, he never called you fine or anything. From the start. From the start. From the start. Okay. Then there's something wrong. Like, why are you not reassuring me that I'm pretty? Like, if I okay, if I send a dude, if I'm talking to somebody, I send them like, if I'm taking Instagram pictures, I send them my Instagram pictures. I'm like, which one do you think? Or like, what do you think about these? And he's okay. like, oh, if he's just like, oh, number three, plus number three, I'm like, oh. I'm not pretty. Like you can't tell me. I'm okay, pretty. that's different. Though. No, 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 that's no, that's different. I want him to hide yeah. up. Yeah. Right. No, that's different. Because I'm, you're the only guy I'm wanting attention from. So like, why aren't you giving me the attention all these other guys are? No, this is what I'm saying. If you sent me some pictures and the messages, I'm obviously a rat. But like, if if I know that you're getting these responses, you're fine. You're fine. Like, every post that you get. But what does it matter? Things don't matter. Yeah. What it matters only you. It comes down to what you have to say. Yeah. But that's what I'm saying. But you said you sent him pictures. That's different. If but that was just I'm... an example. But I'm saying like on Snap too. Like if he doesn't slide up or like say nothing, like or or even like screenshot that bed and re- repost on his story and be like, mm, my shoddy bad as fuck, shoddy bad as fuck. Like, but I don't know if we're talking or not. Like if I don't we're dating, I'm saying if we're dating. Okay, if we serious, then yeah, yes, I will do that. But if we're not, I'm not doing that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's I mean, all. I never. No, no, I have posted my girlfriend on my Snapchat. But she one t- time when you popped out. No, 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 that's no. all I mean. Yeah, that's this stuff. That's stuff. We was we was on and off like a motherfucker. Like I'm dead that ass. Like we I'm broke up, too. got back, broke up, got back. Like toxic. Basically, you were being toxic. I wasn't being toxic. She was mm, being toxic. But, you were but I was chasing that motherfucker. <laughs> I wouldn't say I'm toxic, but I like it. <laughs> You, but you play along with it. Yeah, so you're toxic. You're toxic to me. Yeah. Oh, no, I'm, I'm not you're saying like. Why you just said you like toxic? You like toxic. But I'm not gonna be toxic though. I'm if just, you like, if, okay, I know so, it's gonna fuck. It's not gonna fuck me up. But, but I'm, I'm saying like, like if somebody, if your significant other likes it, that means that they're doing it, right? So that means you're playing along with it. You're I going mean, with yeah. it. Okay, but so, if so you like it. You're toxic. Okay, now if it if it's just keep being bullshit, I'm not gonna like that shit no more. Well, yeah, like, like, like a good amount of toxic. Yeah, like okay, I mean, same good I don't think no. toxic should be anything. Period. Yeah. To where it gets annoying. Yeah, it, it's like keep you shouldn't be there in the first place, though. You know what I'm saying? It's like, just it, on and off. It's yeah, cool. You know what I'm saying? I know you're gonna come back. You know I'm gonna come back. You know what I'm saying? You always got that. Oh no, no, no. That's I'm what not, toxic. I'm is. not. You, no, I'm you, not you, saying, you, saying you, like. I think there's different forms of toxic. I'm saying like not like okay. We're not talking for a month. Like we're still talking. But like it's kind of dry. But you trying to be toxic? You are not trying to like um... hit you up first? Yeah, that's not toxic. That's just it comes down to yeah, it's just pride. pride. Yeah, pride. Yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, I'm not finna say she's. Yeah, but if we stop talking and you fuck somebody else, now nah, it's okay. It's not that's like, different. That's, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's just disrespect. Yeah. That's, that's I'm not, that's I'm just not, literally them. Some niggas be taking them back. Like they don't give a fuck. They just take them back. Okay, see, I'm not, I'm not doing that. That was shit. my past, though. I don't but like, if, if you do it like a little bit, and you, you teasing me type shit. Okay, I, I entertain it. But like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do it out of nowhere. Like, I'm not gonna be like, okay, yeah, I'm gonna. Are you teasing stuff. back though? 
okay, if I know, like, if I know you're bullshitting, I am. But, like, if you're being dead ass serious, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going to bring it to me. How are you knowing if she's being serious? Or if she's playing? How you know? Because if, if it happened one time, okay, I don't know. But if they do it again and they really feel this way, and you know that they're they're being dead ass serious about this shit, then like no, like hypocritical shit. Like it happened to me once, and then I was like, okay, I addressed it, and then it happened again. But it was different situations, so I couldn't really tell. Then after the third time, I was like, nah, this is some bullshit right here. I can't take this shit. Like, oh, she doing this. She actually believe this shit. Like, she's really on that shit. Yeah. So I'm like, nah, I can't deal with that shit. Can y'all accept when y'all are wrong in an argument? Yes. Can yeah. you say that you're wrong? I take Corey, that. Corey, your face tells yeah. otherwise. I'll take that. I'll take that. <laughs> your face tells otherwise, Corey. <laughs> Talk about it, Twin. Uh, you just be getting mad and shutting down. Yeah. Even if you know you're wrong, I know how you are. Don't! I, I've <laughs> argued with you. I've argued with you. I know how you are. You get mad, you shut down, you start saying, okay, okay, okay. Or you just stop responding. This is what it comes down to. You, you can't be like, I'm wrong, I'm sorry. Yeah, in the moment, I'm a shut down. Yeah, but later on, you'd be apologizing. After the fact, I'm going to realize, okay, yeah, yeah, I was wrong. And I would go apologize and address that I was wrong. And, you know, you're I can, right. I can handle that. But, like, if you. If you wait for me to say sorry, oh no, fuck no. But what if you're wrong? Yeah. Oh, damn, if I'm wrong, I'm gonna. I'm gonna just but what like, if you don't see that you're wrong, but you are wrong? No, I'm not gonna see that I'm wrong. Like Jay said, <laughs> if I know I'm gonna win, I'm gonna make the argument. If I know, I'm gonna see it in your way. If I did it to you, okay, yeah. You're not even gonna have an argument in the first place. Yeah. So if, if I did it to you, I'm like, damn, no, I'm not gonna be hypocritical. Because if she did that shit to me, I'm gonna be pissed off. But if I'm not gonna do that shit, then you didn't know. I'm a reasonable right. person. Like, if I went to a party, no, no, you do me. If I went to a party and you like, no, nah, I want you to do that, and then you did that, and then I say you couldn't do that, then I'm It's like, kind of getting back, though. Huh? It's kind of getting back. Like, even in the score. Mm -hmm. Like, you went to a party, okay? I'm going to go to a second party. That's that Texas. And then done. Like, you're done. Like, we're no more party after that. Like no, that no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> but she did it to me, said it to me. She don't want you going to parties and then she did it? Yeah. But that's what I'm saying. It's getting even. You still did it, no. so she still did it. Simple. I mean, I don't condone that. I don't think it should happen. I just Okay, think so if he cheat, it's okay for you to cheat? No. It's not getting even? No. Oh, okay. I was just asking me well, why. I was going to say, why? That's kind of direct. Like, okay. <laughs> no, I, 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 I never fucking cheated in my life. Okay. If you get cheated on, is that not the green light to cheat? No. Mm -hmm. No. We're just done. Yeah, we're done. I can't cheat. Like I said, my conscience is too, like, it would build up too much. I can't. Like, I can't knowingly cheat on you, like, go fuck somebody else and then, or text somebody else, anything, and then go see you the next day or, like, the week after. Knowing, shit, knowingly knowing I did that, I can't go see you. Like, we're just done. I can't. But that's if I cheat. But if you cheat, same thing should apply to you. But it doesn't, because men don't give a fuck and men don't care about our feelings. <laughs> do y'all think it's true that dang what was the question <laughs> that men make decisions logically and women make them like emotionally I think everybody is kind of the same way in that your emotions take over everybody gotta get their emotions in check cause like sometimes when you mad you do stuff you wouldn't do regularly you know what I'm saying even though it's like different decisions you know what I'm saying Mm -hmm. But I try to make them with both. You know what I'm saying? I try to trust my gut, but then I try to make like an intelligent decision type shit. Okay, yeah. I can get with that. <laughs> you know, it's just some people <laughs> think that women just go based off of emotions all the time. Like, I don't know how to think logically. You telling me I don't know how to think logically is just going to upset me even more. Because why are you telling me I don't know how to think logically? You know what I'm saying? Because maybe that's your history. If you have, like, if some, the only reason I would tell somebody that oh, God. is because I, I if they always that? used to make. Why do you say that like that? <laughs> Sorry. Not you personally, I'm saying you, like, whoever we're talking about here. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? If you have the history of making decisions based off your feelings, I'm going to feel like all your decisions in the future is going to be based off your feelings and not logically thought out. Especially if folks just, like, make a decision, like, really quick instead of, like, thinking out stuff. That's what I'm saying. 
So what if they think it's you acting out of emotion, but it's really you thinking about stuff logically, but to them it just seems like out of emotion? Then you just got to explain it to them. And if they don't get it, then I mean, find somebody else. Because <laughs> if they don't understand you, I mean, what you want to do with them? That's true. Anybody else's take on that? Mm-mm. Okay. Well, shit, let's wrap it up then. It's been another <laughs> Cozy Boys, Cozy Vibes podcast, episode six. Thank you to our special guests in the building for coming through today. I feel like we had a really good podcast. Yeah. That was really good. good. I like how y'all brought the questions and stuff. I liked it. It was really good. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. We got new videos coming out every week. And with that, we'll see y'all on the next one.